Guess what we're doing today? We went to the apple farm recently and got a bunch of apples. So we're gonna make cinnamon apple rings for the dogs. For those of you that may not know, Oakley's favorite thing ever is apples. We have apple trees in our backyard and when the apples fall off the tree, she takes them and she buries them. She's like, you gotta bite it, Mama. I'd really like you to bite it. You want it? You want the apple? Oh, I know you all like it. And she's like, oh wait, it's not bit yet. They like it when you cut a piece so they can taste the middle. <laughs> Sometimes Oakley will take them and she'll actually go and she'll hide them in her kennel. But we're gonna make some apple rings for dogs. We've been making all kinds of fun apple stuff. This is apple pie filling, but that's not for dogs. That's actually for us. Wanna make some apple treats for you guys? Let's do it. Are you coming to check it out too? Do you want the apple? Oh, really? There's no dip on that apple. There's, there's no, there's no dip on that apple, Shelby. <laughs> can we turn it into apple rings? It doesn't squeak either. Can we turn can we turn the apple into apple rings? Does that sound like a plan? Oh, Oakley's got it now. Oakley's like, this apple is going in my kennel. We're gonna eat that apple right now. <laughs> so this one, this one's mine, guys. When we were making our apple pie filling, we had all the apples in a bucket on the floor, and Oakley kept coming and trying to take them. <laughs> so we had to move them. She's like, I like apples. I'm gonna make you some apple treats. How does that sound? Let's do that. So this is probably gonna be one of the easiest treats you'll ever make, and the best part about it is you 100% can share these with your dogs. There's nothing in it you can't eat, which is actually the case for a lot of the treats we make, but a lot of them don't have any, any added sugar, so they just taste like crackers if you try to eat them on your own. <laughs> So the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is preheat your oven to 175. Now there's a couple different ways you can do this. If you have a dehydrator, you can do this in the dehydrator. If you don't have a dehydrator, you can do it in the oven. We're gonna do ours in the oven, even though I do have a dehydrator, it's downstairs. I just didn't feel like going and getting it. <laughs> so the first thing you're gonna need, apples. Probably about four to five decent sized apples. The next thing you're gonna need is a little bit of cinnamon, and then you're gonna need, not necessarily, but what will help out immensely with this is one of these awesome apple slicers. I will put an affiliate link to Amazon for this down in the video description below. This is a slicer, corer, and peeler, but we're not going to be peeling our apples, so we're not gonna use this part of it. Now, we're gonna cut up some apples. I'll do it this way so you guys can see how this works. Take your apple, we're gonna stick it on the peeler. Try to make sure you get it in the center, and then just start cranking. <gasps> Wanna help Memphis? Memphis is like, wait, what are we doing? Yeah, we're cranking this. You wanna help crank it? Oh, you, Oakley, wanna help? Oh, here we go. Here comes the fun part. <laughs> Oakley's like, I don't know what's going on. And then you pull the apple off. Check it out. It's an apple accordion. You'll have perfect apple rings and the apple will already be cored. So literally the only thing you have to do is take a knife and go. There you go. Now you've got apple rings. Perfect apple rings. Want an apple ring? Oakley, you left before you got an apple ring. <laughs> Do you like an apple ring? Chevy's like, um, no, it doesn't have any dip on it. Oakley's like, oh, it's apples. Did you see how gentle she took that? I love apples. Wanna try again? I'm gonna kinda do this fast because I don't want my apples to turn all brown. So let me take our next one. Put it on. <laughs> go, 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 go. All right, you just got it, Oakley. Can you help him? This actually makes us really fast. There we go. Apple ring number two. And next pile of apple rings. Would you like another one? How about you, Oakley? Would you like another one? She's like, oh, I would. <laughs> As always, you guys, these are treats. Just treats. Moderation is key. These are not supposed to be a meal replacement or a meal supplement or a nutritional anything. I mean, they're nutritional, but they're not supposed to be like a nutritional supplement. This is just treats for fun. Feed in moderation and always make sure that you know what you're feeding your dogs. Talk with your vet if you're ever concerned. And when you're making these, make sure you check the middles to make sure all the core came out. There was a seed stuck in the middle of that one. Core came out, but there was still a seed stuck in the middle. Oh, I forgot to cut this one. Oh no, I didn't, I cut that one. <laughs> and while we're making apples, let's talk a little bit about apples. There are some of you 
as always, down in the comments that are going to say apples are bad for dogs. Apples are not bad for dogs. If you don't believe me, call your vet, talk to your vet. What can be bad for dogs is the seeds of an apple. You don't want them to get the seeds. But realistically, they would have to eat like 200 apple seeds and crush them up before it would really actually have an effect on them. So, yeah, you don't want them to get the seeds. But I'm not feeding them the seeds anyway, so we're good. Yeah, dogs can have apples. Like I said, if you don't believe me, call your vet. He'll tell you. As I say in many of our videos, if you're ever unsure, just call your vet and ask your vet. They'll let you know. Da -da -da! All right, we got all our apple rings. We got all our apple mess. Now, dun -dun 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 -dun, we're going to take a cookie sheet lined with some parchment paper and we're going to take our apple rings and we're just going to start laying them out on the cookie sheet. We're going to do this faster. The middles are turning brown. This is also a good time for you to check the middles and if you see like there is a little piece of seed in the middle there, just cut it out. Now once we have all of our apple rings beautifully laid out on our cookie sheet, we are literally just going to take a little bit of cinnamon. This is very optional. You don't have to do this. We're just going to sprinkle it on the apples and make a giant mess with some cinnamon. They don't need a lot, just a little. Now comes the fun part, waiting. <laughs> While you're waiting, if you want to see more of our treat videos, there will be links up in the cards and down in the video description below. If you're new to this channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button, click on that little bell and turn on all notifications That's so that you know when we put up any of our new treat videos plus any of the other videos we do on this channel. Uh, the waiting part. Now we have to put these in the oven. So what we're going to do, again, the oven is at 175 degrees. We're going to put them in the oven for about an hour and a half, and then we're going to flip them. I'm not going to add any more cinnamon, but we're going to flip them after about an hour and a half. And then we're going to put them in there for probably about another two hours. You really want to take all the moisture out of them. Uh, depending on the altitude where you live, depending on how thick you cut your apples, probably anywhere between four hours to seven hours. So just keep checking them. Try not to burn them. You don't want them to be like super crunchy. They should be a little bit rubbery, but all of the moisture should be out of them. So we're gonna go ahead and pop these in the oven. We can't leave Shelby out of the beforehand taste test. Let's see if she likes apples and yogurt. Yep, apples and yogurt apparently is much better than just plain apples. And after uh, about four and a half hours, they're done. They turned out really cute. They made the whole house smell amazing. And now I think it's time for them to try them. All right, can you sit? All right, well, you didn't want one at all yesterday before they were done, but now they're done and they have cinnamon on them. Would you like one? Oh, you would like one. Oh, maybe she spit it out and Shelby says no. <laughs> All right, Shelby, take two. Oh, now you want it? We'll put a little bit of yogurt on it. Can you speak? Really? Speak. <laughs> yeah, try it now. <laughs> Is it better now? She's like, the yogurt's good, but I'm not a big fan of the apple. Uh, well, apparently you'll get other treats and the other two can eat all of these. Oh no, you're eating, that one didn't even have any dip on it and you ate it, see? The power of suggestion with Shelby. <laughs> oh, uh, somebody's excited. Can you jump? <laughs> Sit. Can you speak? That was pretty good. You want this? Do you, want, do you want this apple? Here you go, ready, got it? Oh, well, you got half of it. Well, gee, Memphis says, I will eat all of them, thanks. <laughs> Memphis likes them. And now it's Miss Oakley's turn. Are you ready? Here, you got it? Oh, it's nice and crunchy. I left them in there quite a while, so they got pretty good and crunchy. You like that? Apples are your favorite thing ever. I knew you'd like it. Those will probably end up being mostly your treats. I won't make you share them all with Memphis. I don't have another one in my hand, sorry honey.
<laughs> They're all out here looking for more. All right, you guys. Well, that is all we have for today's treat video. Again, as always, if you want to see more of our treat videos, there will be links up in the cards and down in the video description below where you can check those out. If you have any suggestions for treat videos you want to see us make, leave them down in the comments below. We do have a list and we've been writing down your ideas. I do have sushi for dogs on the list, so that will be made. I'm just not sure when because I'm kind of doing some fall themed treats right now. But if you have any suggestions, please leave them down in the comments below and we'll try to make, bless you, we'll try to make some of the treats you guys suggest. Look, Shelby dug her giant hole back out again. And look, there's apples all over back here. <laughs> uh, goodness me. All right, you guys, if you're new to this channel and you like what you saw, don't forget to hit that subscribe button, like this video and share it with your friends to help us grow the audience as always. Thanks for watching, thanks for subscribing, stay positive, dream big, and we will see you again soon. Goodbye, potty ants. Thanks so much for watching.